here we have an OE Ford shaft for an F-150 for Village Motors. It's one of their customers' uh, trucks, and it drove into a subtle vibration or you know, a shutter or something, 38 to 50 miles an hour is what they're saying. Um, and this is similar to the situation back in, in the videos in like 241 to 245. I had a series of Toyotas of the same situation, and then it was more like you know how when you're driving a truck and you got a back window open like four-door truck or whatever and you get that concussion noise from the air passing through that's what they were describing to me about the toyotas uh in that situation it was more of a you know like a, a noise than a vibration it was like in their eardrums i don't know if that's what's going on here but this drive shaft was not horribly bad uh, it was it really spun pretty good this thing's knocking on a door 10 years old i have no idea about the mileage but um, the, the, the downside to this is this is the predatory engineering drive shafts. I mean, this is a glaring example of you know, just shoddy the way they build these things. That center bearing is not changeable without major surgery to the shaft. You end up basically building a new front section. Um, anyway, so this bearing is okay. It, it does have a little noise that goes up and down the RPM range with it as I speed the balancer up and down. You'd never hear it in a truck, but you know, a, a center bearing, a bad center bearing is glaring in the balancing machine. This one is okay, but it's not gonna be forever. So with that in mind, we're just minimally invasively trying to tune this up, which I did. The, these can be problematic because these shafts, old shafts, that have stresses built into them from 10 years of use. And you go try and tape weights on, get it all tuned up, that's all. But you got to commit and weld them on, and they're it's just the, the cooling of the weld can change what you just had perfect, and you know, and then you chase and chase. I got through this one um, without too much effort. I did have to change it a little bit, but uh, so we're going to say that this is tuned up uh, another thing I need to mention is, and you hear me say it if you watch any of my videos, the OE slip yoke and stub right there, that's the slip and the stub goes inside of its spline, had almost no lubrication in it and it had a little bit of rattle in it. So I took the clamp off, uh, pulled it back, wiped a, a good band, like an inch in, of really super tacky red grease. I mean, I didn't fill it up, I just gave it a good amount and the, the, the grease needs to be there for cushioning between the splines as it's operating just takes a rattle out of it i mean once again nothing wrong but they don't put much in there when they build the trucks uh, so she's tuned up now zero to rear axle dead flat zero zero to center bearing nobody home and zero at the uh, transmission so we're going to say that this is a good result Village's uh, F-150, and we're going to pass it back to them, and you know, they can see if it makes the changes that they're looking for. Once again, bearing in mind, this thing wasn't really that bad. So, uh, I'm going to think happy thoughts about it, and get it back to Phil.